let's start this testing day. All right, well, you guys are sitting right by a side of a charger if you can't tell by that high pitch noise. It is windy. I hope my camera does not blow over that tripod. Welcome everybody. I am going to go ahead and uh, stop my charge. Stop charge because I am charging using Chatamo at the second end session. Okay, yes. Let's see here. Done. I am I got enough juice, but I wanted to test the adapter, so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug the Chatamo. I set up my computer real fast and test the adapter out on a Signet unit. A Signet! I feel so weird doing this during the daytime hours with cars just lined up. So we got some Signets over here, we got some Deltas over there. I'm gonna try both, but I am gonna, uh, the Delta chargers already are being used. And there is one Signet here because the one right behind the camera is being used if you can't hear that whining noise. So we're gonna use Timmy here, but first, let's see, I got everything set up. Um, let's go ahead and connect. Let's connect the cable. Yeah, let's connect the cable here. I'm kind of far away. The CCS is a little bit far away, but uh, like I said, I'm, I already got a full charge pretty much. I'm at 80%, so I can play with this a little bit. Okay, let's plug this in. It's plugged in. Let's, uh... <coughs> oh God, if I could find my cursor in this bright sunlight, there it is. So I gotta change that to serial port. Let's uh, start and uh, Okay, so we're going now. So let's start the charge by pressing that. Wait for that to click. Connecting your vehicle. So let's hit this. Okay, oh, lots of, lots of stuff. Lots of stuff happening on the computer here. So let's, uh, uh, this is not very long. That's all I gotta say. Something to be said about those charge point adapters. Okay, so everything's recording. Not ack, not ack, not ack. S stop charge. Stop charging has ended. What? Connection error. That did not work. Did not work as planned. But that's kind of what I figured. It didn't work on the Signet last time, but it almost worked on the Delta. So let's wait for one of those cars to disappear and let's go try it over there. Um, I'm sorry for people that... Uh, expect more from my videos at the moment and not all about ev charging and adapter testing but uh the beginning of the videos i have to do it i have to focus on this somewhat because it does help out the community for cars like mine cars like that they don't have to worry so much but my particular car and other people that have purchased the nissan leaf well we're in a world of hurt if we can't get this thing working here in the United States because these were the original cars on the road. These here were the first mass produced EVs, kind of like the Betamax. And those right there are the non, um, they're the VHSs. So they're, they're not going anywhere, but we need to get ours working. And I think I might be able to get, look at this. So here's a BMW i3, not charging, he's just icing out the spot. That's, that's how they do it here. They ice it out. Me, But uh, they're not here, they're icing out the spot. I'm gonna plug in and if they show up, they're just gonna have to wait, you know? What? They're just stuck here because I'm not moving for them. I'm, I'm, I got this perfectly lined up. So it's, you know, they shouldn't, they shouldn't have parked there. They should not have parked there. Okay, I think you guys can see this. Let's uh, start this up and I'll keep the camera rolling just in case the other people show up. And you can see how much of an asshole I'm gonna be. Let's uh, see, I know I'm not connected. I know I'm not online, I don't need that. Okay, that's what we do. So let's get the cable, plug it in to the pewter. 
Okay, that can go there. Let's uh, put that there. Let's grab this. Uh, okay, where are you at? There you guys are. Let's plug this snap. Let's see if I should... God, this... I think we should have kept Chatamo and got rid of CCS because Chatamo is just so hard to work with. Okay, it's plugged into the computer. Let's, uh, let me fire up the app. And I am at Patrick now. Okay, let's see, EV go. And this is Patrick. Peric, Peric is offline. Ah. Fail, man. This is this is a fail on my part. Ah. I'm trying to hook up to a charger. I'm blocking this guy for no reason. This charger is offline. Okay, we now have Toro. The uh, other gentleman that was here uh, went ahead and moved. He didn't need to, but he had a full charge. So, but he asked what I was doing, and I told him. And uh, he goes, "Oh, that's exciting." And then, so he, he moved because he was already at 100%. He charged to 100, which was okay. Didn't bother me. But that guy, he's, he's nowhere to be seen. Anyway, we are here. Let's uh, go ahead. The computer is up. So let me uh, put this here. Okay, so let's get this thing going. First, let's plug this in to the computer, the debugging cable that I enjoy so much. And uh, let's, uh, well, we should probably start that over. I already saved one charger. So let's uh, reopen the, where is it at? Where is it at? It's probably down here further. Go to downloads. So calm, so calm, so calm, so calm. There it is. Open that up, spread that sucker open, serial port open, let's start recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, plug it in now, the, the debugging cable into the unit. And let's grab Toro, Torio, and shove it in here. All right, now this here is a Delta unit. The other one over there is a Signet. Is it gonna reach? Yes, it will, perfect. Okay, let's fire up this charger. Start charging with Toro. Let's see what happens. Vehicle, connecting to vehicle, so I'm pressing the button. The light is flashing. Let's, uh, oh shoot. Uh-oh, my Type-C cable popped out. Okay, let's plug you in. There we go. Make sure that is connected. It is. These debugging cables should be a little bit stronger, but they're not. Okay, let's have a look-see, shall we? Offline. Oh, maybe I need... I'm curious. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. All the funness of testing. Okay, check this out. It says uh, connecting. Detection or error. That, that's probably me. Let me start this whole process over. Okay, here we go. Uh, so let's uh, plug this back in. Nice and tight, it's tight. That's what your mom said. Kids don't watch my video. Okay, so we are going to start recording. Let's, uh, what, this is Toro, let's start, start charging. Wait for that to go, it's going. Power on this button. Plug it in. Okay, it's plugged in. 
Okay, it's getting lots of information. Information's going. Let's see what happens now. This is a Delta. Now, last time I tried this pump with the last firmware, it actually connected and then faulted. So let's see if it's gonna do it this time. Connecting to vehicle still, let's see. On the computer it's saying charging has ended. So version IV 1.0, it's, it's not working. It's not working at BTC, it's not working at Delta, and it's not working at Signet. I hope it still works at uh, at the ABB chargers. This this is a busy spot right here. Luckily, every single one of them do have Chatamo. This one here is broke, but <coughs> excuse me, this this Delta unit and those two Signets are working perfect, but not with the adapter on the CCS. It, it's a you know I would love it to start working. I think it'd be great, and uh, hopefully maybe one or two more firmware updates will get at least these ones working. Don't know if we'll get Electrify America or Charge Points working for a while. Maybe a year. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess a year. But definitely before June, I would like to have these working because I'm leaving Florida. Like I said, going to Metropolis, Illinois, which is a 1,000. 600 mile round trip and I would really like this adapter to work just in case because you don't know what other states Chatamo situation is like So uh, fingers crossed new firmware comes soon with the data that I am collecting and others There's a few other people here in the United States now that do have these adapters and they're testing them out Las Vegas Long Beach, California. There's a guy in Australia testing them and uh, so we're, we're getting it going. We're gonna get, we're gonna get this firmware. You just wait for it, just wait. It was a pretty, almost depressing set of chargings over there. But I drove over here to the mall and the sun has already set. I am at the Florida mall, which has numerous, numerous chargers. Every one of them is full. The last one, as usual, right there is a Nissan Leaf. Not mine, obviously, but the reason the Nissan Leaf is in the very end, that is the only Chatamo out of all the banks of chargers. That's why, for the people that don't understand, why we Nissan Leaf people need to get this thing working. Because with all the Nissan Leafs out here on the road, only having one available pump or charger at any given time, it could, it could, it could get crowded. It can definitely get crowded. But if we had access to all of the chargers, whew, life would be so easy. And down there is a large bank of Tesla chargers also. Which it should be nice to have a Chatamo to Tesla. Now, I'm not going to break out the computer because I already did a Signet today. And it failed, obviously. And all these chargers here are Signet also. But I am, once that Nissan Leaf goes... That is a 100, 125 kilowatt machine over there. 50 kilowatt for the Chatamo and 125 CCS. So I am gonna go ahead and try the CCS, but I'm not gonna hook the computer up. It's too much of a hassle. There's too many people waiting in line. I don't wanna take all night because I, I don't wanna, and I don't wanna hog up the spot that long. So I am gonna plug in the adapter, try and fire up the pump, and let's just see if it works. I, I doubt it's going to. Okay, we are outside the car and I am gonna give it a shot. This is an Electrify America charger. So the odds of it working are slim, but you know, it won't hurt to give it a shot. Electrify America. It is starting connecting to car, so I am pressing the button. It is flashing. Let's plug it in. It's locked. Let's see what happens. 
Like I said, I'm assuming it is going to fail, but we will see. It's reconnecting to the car. Like I said, I'm, I'm, there's just too many people here to hook the computer up, but it is probably going to fail. But we will see. If it does start, how awesome would that be? Charging start error. See, I knew that was going to happen, but that's just the way it is. That's, that's the way it goes here. So close, so close. Off with a charge. I'm like this pretty awesome Ford Lightning over here. <laughs> 